boys, let's head back down to Morwell now because it was a massive event down there when the Barramundi were put into Hazelwood Pondage. We've got a bit of footage of what actually went down that day last week. Pondage just on the outskirts of Morwell, and like we've been talking up on talking fishing, we're about to release some barramundi into this beautiful pondage. The water temperature here at the ramp today is 28 degrees. It's only going to get better. In winter, it's probably around that 24, 25, which is absolutely perfect for barramundi. Come over here, cameraman, have a look into this bucket. There's the barramundi, you can see a couple that are tagged, and the ones that are tagged have got an acoustic tag in them, so they can be tracked throughout the lake, and over the next six months, these fish are gonna give us a lot of information about how they survive, uh, their edibility, and the condition in six months' time. I can't really take uh, much credit for um, uh, the, the penmanship of our Target One Million policy. It's been an enormous pleasure to be charged with responsibility for delivering it. But when I looked at the very, very long list that my predecessor in these portfolios, uh, Jacinta Allen, uh, had put together, I did pause and say, what? Barra at Hazelwood. Really? And here we are. Um, so, uh, so Darwin, Dar the Darwin uh, fishing tourist industry are going to be quaking in their boots at this announcement, and we're OK with that. So 1,600 barramundi we're releasing today, the first ever to be stocked in a Victorian waterway. They like it warm, about 22 degrees, I'm told, and, uh, and so this is, uh, this is where it's all going to happen. Um, this is a major milestone in the Target One Million policy, and it's called Target One Million because we want to get the number of people wreck fishing to a million, and we're making some pretty good progress to that end, but, you know, this is going to be the sort of thing that I think will excite lots of people. Um, so these fish are part of an innovative trial to create in the southern, in, in a southern state, um, a recreational fishery that's normally only found in the northern parts of the country. Uh, the, um, the fish that are being released, many of them, about five centimetres long, 500, 10 centimetres and 100 larger fish. And a number of the larger fish are tagged so we can see what they get up to as they settle into their new home. Um, listening stations will record their movements. Uh, we'll keep an eye, obviously, on water temperature um, at various locations uh, in this in this body of water. And so, I know this is a kind of tough. going to be a tough thing for people who are very excited about this to hear. But we're going to have to close this fishery for six months while they settle in. I hope you'll all bear with us. It'll absolutely uh, be worth the wait. Um, the Six months is really just a, a settling in period to let them grow, to um, also monitor how, uh, how this fishery develops and isn't it going to be an exciting day, the day that we open this fishery uh, to the public. So a major milestone in the Target One Million journey, a, an enormous um, boost for, uh, for uh, communities in the La Trobe Valley that will benefit from the kind of fishery, the kind of fishery that people will travel uh, great distances for, that people will plan their holidays around, and that in turn means jobs, and so that's a wonderful thing. Well, there you go. These are the barramundi that are being put into Hazelwood Pondage in Morwell. These fish are going to change tourism and fishing in Victoria forever. Here we go. Going to put him in. Gone. So run out the nets, haven't got enough yet Got to catch a pair of money for you You can bake it or fry it, never know till you try it You can even cook it up in a stew Just roll them in flour and fry them on the stove Or chuck them in the fire and cook them on the coals Victorian barramundi, who would have thought Some chips and salad anyway to me Barramundi on the footsteps of Hazelwood Power Station lies the beautiful Hazelwood Pondage, soon to be home to 1,600 barramundi and, later on, 15,000 barramundi. Now, you could think that I'm in a little creek up in the Northern Territory. You have a look at the structure just over my right shoulder, but here we are at Hazelwood Pondage. Look at that structure. Look at this barramundi. Those two things are going to equal one metre barra in around about two years' time. I'll let this one go now.
Beautiful. There's a caravan park, a sailing club, a great little island, and plenty of structure for the Barra to just thrive. The historic occasion has arrived. Here is a Hazelwood Barramundi. Say wow again, boys. <laughs> wow again. Yeah. Trev, um, talk us through, you know, where's that fishery going to go? What's the next steps? Uh, and, I, and I know people are going to want to fish it, but they have to wait that six months, don't they? Yeah, I mean, really we want to make sure that the barramundi that we've put in there are going to have the ability to, to get out there and grow and uh, we're going to learn a bit more about them, see what their sort of diet composition is, see if they're going to be okay to eat. We're going to do some testing on them, do different things. And um, look, you know, I could announce tonight, Dave, on your show that we're going to put another 5,000 in there in the coming weeks. Also, larger fish, because we want to make sure they don't get predated when they go in. But we're going to make sure that this is an absolute crackerjack fishery. We don't want people to go down there and maybe once every 10 or 15 trips fluke a barramundi. We want people to go down there and have a and really good fish. chance. Yeah. yeah, Start the reputation uh, from yeah. day one. Absolutely. What size fish will those 5,000 be? You're allowed to commit to that? Yeah, well, we're aiming for 30 centimetre fish, yep. you know, yep. to, to put them in at that really nice size where yep. they're going to be the biggest predator out there in the food chain, you yep. know, and uh, they're expensive, but it'll be a, a fishery that pays off. And for the tourism industry and for the tribe, Valley, we think it's going to be fantastic for the local mm. economy. You read the reports of some of the impoundments up in Queensland, particularly, say, Gladstone as an example. Um, in Gladstone, there's, their water storage has barramundi stocked in it. It's not a natural habitat. They don't spawn there. And it brings in around a million dollars a year in tourism. Now, that's in a, pl in a state where there's barramundi everywhere, boys. Yeah. So uh, yeah. this is a state where there's no barramundi. Yeah. It's yeah. going to bring the people. It's going to bring the tourism dollars. And it's only a good thing. Talking fishing, talking fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing.